Hey everyone! Today we're going to make an ally portrait. Do you know what an ally is? If you don't know what an ally is, please pause the video here and go ask a parent or a teacher or a friend. Welcome back! So what did you find out? Did someone tell you an ally is someone you can trust? An ally is a friend or a buddy. An ally is someone that you can have a friendship with, even though they might be different than you. Well, that's what we're going to do today. All right, today we are going to make an ally portrait. So please get a white paper out. And the first thing you do is always the same. It's pick up a pencil and you write your name and room number. All right, so right in the middle of your paper, I want you to put your hand down, just like I'm going to do with my fingers all together. That's right in the middle of my paper. See, here's the top, here's the bottom. Right in the middle of my paper, I'm going to put my hand down. I'm going to go up and around my hand like a rainbow, up and around. I'm not going to touch my fingers. I don't want it to look bumpy. I want it to look nice and curved. Up and around like a big arch of a rainbow. You're going to take your hand away and you should look like you have a little rainbow there. Then you're going to flip your paper around. This is going to be the bottom of your face. Well, you might be wondering, how do I draw a face? Well, I'm going to show you. First, I'll show you how to draw a couple different kinds of faces. You can pause the video here. This is a great uh, set of images for different hairstyles. So if you want to draw a different type of hairstyle than I draw, you can go ahead and go back to this and pause it here. To make my hair do what I do, if I want the hair kind of swept off to the side, I start towards the right and I swoop the hair down towards the both sides of the face. Then, for the top of the hair, I'll start at that same point, but a little higher, and I'll curve it up and then down and connect it, up and then down and connect it. And this can either be short hair, like boy's haircut, or it can be like a ponytail, or pigtails. If you want to make the hair longer, you just go towards that side and bring that line all the way down towards the side and bring the hair all the way down. That is what the long hair looks like. Instead of making a straight line come down, you can make curvy line come down if you want and make little bumps on the top. So that will look more like curly or curvy hair. About a finger space below the hair, you're going to draw a little curved line for an ear on both sides. Kind of like a half circle. I'm going to fill in the hair a little bit by adding these curvy lines down towards the, um, past the neck. And I'm going to add two lines on the outside of the chin that come down two lines on the outside of the chin that come down. Now I'm going to draw a little curved line for the shirt and then have my my lines extend for the shoulders. I'm going to add some curvy lines here in the hair. You might add straight lines or no lines at all. Then, around where you put the ears, you're going to put your finger down. Your eyes should be one finger space apart. So I'm going to draw one curved line on top and another curved line on bottom. This shape is called an ellipse. 
I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle inside my ellipse. Then right above the eye, you're going to go up a little bit. And you're going to draw a little line. That's going to be for your eyebrow. Go up from your eye and draw a little line. And then from the other end of your eye, you're going to draw a tiny line. You're going to curve those lines to meet. Go up, draw a line, draw another little line by the eye, and then curve those lines to meet. And look it, you have two eyebrows. Right in the middle of each of those circles in your eyes, you're going to draw two other circles. That is called your pupil. The bigger circle is called the iris, and that's where you put the color, the brown or blue or green. I'm going to draw a little bump down here for the nose. Okay, I'm going to try a different nose now. That was a nose with a little bump. The next nose I'm going to add is going to be down and curved, down and curved. And there's a little nostril on each side. Okay, I'm going to draw one more type of nose down, and it has more of a point. You can draw, draw whatever type of nose you want. The last thing I'm going to add is a smile. The smile I'm adding is like a big moon turned sideways. I draw a little line in between for the teeth. It's kind of a flat curved line across, and then a big curved line down. If you want, you can add a dark part to show a tooth that's missing. Or you can just leave it regular with your teeth. Or you can do a different type of smile or a different type of mouth. Did you make your portrait different than you? If you have long hair, maybe you made short hair. If you have green eyes, maybe you can color them with blue or brown eyes. If you have light skin, maybe you color it with dark skin or the other way around. So try to make some differences in your portrait than from you. So it's not a self portrait, which means a picture of you. It is a portrait of an ally, which means someone different than you that you can be friends with and that you can trust. After you've finished your portrait, you're going to use a dark color crayon or maybe a dark marker or even a black or dark colored pencil. And you're going to go over your lines with that dark color. If you used a marker, and only if you used a marker, you can go ahead and erase your pencil marks. If you used a crayon or a color pencil, please don't do this because it'll make it smear and smudge or erase.
All right, now I want you to take a bunch of colors. These can be markers. I'm going to use markers, and I'm going to grab markers of all different colors. So I'm going to set mine up kind of like a rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, kind of a teal, then a blue, then a purple, and then a magenta or pink color. Once I have my colors that I want to use picked out, which you can use any colors, remember you don't have to use the colors I use, I'm going to draw lines that go straight across my paper. I'm going to make mine so they kind of look like a diagonal line sometimes. You can do yours perfectly straight, or you can make yours kind of come down or curve a little bit. I'm going to do mine so they have a little bit of a diagonal line but it's your choice what you want to do. Make sure to use your colors and go all the way down to the bottom of the page. So you should have stripes going all the way to the bottom of the page. Next, you are going to choose different color skin tones. What kind of colors are skin? We have skin tones that are peach and tan and brown and even a really, really dark brown, almost black color. There are lots and lots of different skin colors, so get as many colors as you can find in your crayon or colored pencil box. And you can use crayon and color pencil with this if you want to have more colors of brown. Alright, see how your lines have created different sections? I'm going to use my brown and tan and peach and black colors and fill in the spaces. If you only have one or two shades of skin tone, then you can do a trick that I'm going to show you, which is some of the colors you color in lightly, very, very lightly. You don't press your crayon very hard. But then you can, on a different section, if you press your hand, crayon harder, then your color will be darker. So it's like you have more than one shade or darkness and lightness of that color. Isn't that cool? So here I'm coloring a little lighter, but later I will color by pressing harder and it'll make that color look darker. In this section, I want it to look really nice and dark for those beautiful, dark, deep skin colors. So I'm going to press pretty hard with this brown crayon.
Did you know that people have all different color hairs too? Some people have red hair and orange hair and yellow hair and brown hair and black hair. And so you can color the hair all different colors. Some people even sometimes they have colored hair that's purple or green. So go ahead and add all different colors in after you color in your eyebrows. If you run out of colors, remember how we try to do light and dark shades of a color? Well, you can do that with black. So if you press lighter with black, it will be gray. And if you press harder, it'll be black hair. So you can make at least two shades with black also. I'm going to choose a green color for my eyes, but you can choose two different colors. You can choose the same color, blue, brown, make a hazel, which is kind of like yellows and browns and greens. And you get to choose which one you want. The last thing I'm going to do is take my marker and add designs in the background to fill the space. You can choose how you want your background to look, but this is what I want mine to look like. So go ahead and decide what you want for your background.
After you're done with your background, you can color in your shirt if you want. I am just going to leave my hair white because hair is sometimes white also. So I'm going to just make my lines go all the way to the bottom and we are all set. I hope you enjoyed making your ally portrait today. I bet they look amazing. Have a wonderful day and remember, let's be kind to one another and be friends to people and all different types of people and celebrate our differences because differences are what make us all special.